Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn with Parka. I'm Chanel and I'm Kelly and we're here every week bringing you marketing insights for the staffing and recruiting industry. This month we're focusing around the most common mistakes that we see clients or partners make um, across the digital marketing landscape. So this week we're honing in on social media. So the most common mistakes that we see across platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. Kelly, why don't you start us off? So with cover photos, you really, really want to make sure that it's not blurry, that you actually have a cover photo, that it matches your branding, the look, the feel, and it tells people what you do in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, one other really key element to keep in mind is that LinkedIn and other profiles sometimes change their sizing requirements. Mm -hmm. So even if you've spent time doing this in the past, if they change those requirements, you may end up with a blurry photo in a month that looks really good right now. So make sure to audit it from time to time. Yeah, and it is so important because it's the first thing someone sees when they land on your profile. So you wanna leverage that prime real estate at the top of the page. Secondly, we wanna address post cadence. So sometimes we see people post too few times during the week or conversely, way too much, that even though they're posting a ton of content, it's not getting the engagement or the action that you want people to take because you wanna make sure that your content is compelling someone to take a, an action of some sort, whether it's clicking through to read an article to your, on your website or if it's even as simple as a like or a love or a comment or a share, um, you wanna make sure that your content is getting that engagement. Otherwise, if you're just posting a ton of content that isn't getting any interaction, that actually hurts you from a LinkedIn algorithm standpoint because the algorithm recognizes, okay, even though they have, you know, 3,000 followers, they're not getting any likes or any clicks because the content isn't valuable enough. It's not educating your audience. It's not inspiring them. It's not informing them of what's happening in the industry, right? All those things that we know you need to, to serve that purpose through the content you're creating. Um, so, so that is really what it boils down to from a, from a frequency or cadence standpoint is posting at least two times during the week, but we recommend a, a sweet spot of three to five times per week. And then also posting at the right times. So many times we see people post um, before 9 a.m. or even over a weekend, and that really doesn't lend itself well to helping people see your content as a staffing and recruiting firm, because we know that your audiences are spending time on LinkedIn first and foremost, and it's during the business day when they're working on business development and networking and engaging with their, their um, communities on social media, um, and so you wanna make sure you're posting at the right time of day. Definitely. And then finally, a common mistake we see is the misuse of hashtags. Mm -hmm. So on LinkedIn, the sweet spot is about three hashtags per post, no more than five. That goes the same for Twitter. Facebook is actually less, recommended at one post, or excuse me, one hashtag per post. Yeah. Uh, and on LinkedIn, or any platform, you wanna make sure that those hashtags are relevant mm -hmm. to what you're talking about. So hashtag career development, or hashtag recruiting tips, or something like that. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily wanna do a generic term like hashtag recruiting hashtag industry. While the recruiting one could be relevant, could get you trending in the right area, industry isn't necessarily going to do anything for you. So just think through some of those uh, topics that you're talking about and what could be relevant. And LinkedIn specifically does a very good job of populating some of those common hashtags as you start typing. Yeah. So it's helpful in that way too, for sure. That's what we've got for you this week for social media, but reach out to us if you have any questions or visit parkamarketing.com to learn more and we'll see you guys next week.